Autism, or Autism Spectrum Disorder, is a complex neurodevelopmental disorder that may include impairments in social interaction, developmental language, and communication skills, along with sensory sensitivities. Originally described as a form of childhood schizophrenia and the result of cold parenting, the definition of autism has majorly evolved over the last six decades as people have begun to understand autism more. My name's Anthony Padilla. And today I'm going to be sitting down with people on the autism spectrum to learn the truth behind this often overlooked and misunderstood disorder. Should autism be accepted as a simple difference rather than a disorder? Or should society be doing everything in its power to discover a cure for this neurodivergence that affects such a vast amount of the population? Do those on the spectrum feel blessed to have the ability to view the world in a truly unique and heightened way that neurotypical or holistic people could never imagine? Or is being on the spectrum an immense hindrance they wish they could get rid of in order to perceive the world like everyone else? Do autistic people go through life proud of their disorder? Or do they hide in the shadows of society, overwhelmed with immense guilt and shame surrounding the hand they were dealt? Hi, Aniela. Hey. Hey, Richard. Hello. Hi, Jasmine. Hi. Thank you so much for coming out and teaching me about the wondrous world of autism. Thank you for having me. So what do you consider yourself? Autistic, someone with autism or on the spectrum? I consider myself autistic. I'm an autistic person. Most of the yeah. time, for those that are a bit more familiar, I mm -hmm. like to be on the spectrum. I like to say that I have autism because mm. it's more of just the whole, um, it's not me and it's just something that I have. I don't want mm. it to rule me. When I announced I was going to do this video, there was mm -hmm. a lot of people that were saying that I should refer to autistic people as people with autism and not autistic people. Mm -hmm. Are you, is there one that you prefer over the other? I think both of those are fine with me. I really don't have a preference. Mm. I'm it's pretty casual with it. I'm yeah. usually an autistic person because I feel like it just keeps my identity. What does having autism entail? And it's, it's more of just a social disorder. I don't get a lot of social cues. Mm. There'll be times where I'm, for example, direct eye contact is not the greatest thing for me, oh. but I wouldn't be, um, but I wouldn't be like not listening. I like to multitask. I like oh. to do things like that. So it's almost like your brain's running too fast and it wants to see other things? Yes, yes. I know mm. socially when you're talking to someone, you have to look at someone directly, but mm. I, it's... That doesn't come saying, naturally. Yeah, it, it's not easy. <laughs> I think being autistic means you have more hurdles to go Bigger hurdles, more hurdles, mm. everything's a bit more difficult. So every everything is just a track with a bunch of hurdles in the way and you're yes. constantly trying to jump over them. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Being autistic is a different way of thinking. Mm. Our brains work differently than the average human being, like the way we process things and mm -hmm. experience things. For example, we could get really interested in things that other people wouldn't wouldn't typically be interested in like math or chemistry oh. or art and we get super focused on those. Before we learn more about the wondrous world of autism, I just wanted to introduce you to the newest addition to our set. This was meticulously hand painted by Rihanna Robles. She did an incredible job looking sexy if I do say so myself. Let's give a huge, huge round of applause to Rihanna Robles for this amazing job. This one's for you. Now back to learning about the wondrous world of autism. Do you consider autism to be a hindrance in your day-to-day -day life? I used to think it was, but now I think it's an advantage because I coped with my autism by social isolation and that gave me the opportunity to get better at the things that I like to do, for example, painting oh. and riding a bike, because I can do those things by myself. And they, make, they treat me like I'm you know, not as good as them or not as smart as they are, but yeah. I feel like I'm a normal p person sometimes. I think I used to, but when adapting, I've now thought of it as a positive thing because I wouldn't be who I am. It used to be a hindrance when I was a little kid. Mm -hmm. Now it's more of just another thing, mm -hmm. another mm -hmm. extension. Just another trait that you have. Exactly, yeah. So there's a spectrum with autism. Can you, can you describe what that spectrum is? I only know that I'm high functioning autism. How does having autism affect your day to day life? Well, I'm seemingly normal on the outside, but on the inside, I'm, I'm different than the average person. And I get bullied from it. Oh, really? Yeah, even in adulthood. What specifically do people bully you for? 
Uh, usually it's the way that I talk or mm -hmm. look around. When I was a kid, I got bullied for everything. Uh. The way that I dress and, well, there's this one math teacher who used to get so mad at me when I wouldn't do my homework. But I was just a kid, I didn't realize how important homework was. Yeah. And so you'd have the other students make sure that I wouldn't be able to play with them during recess. And so they would trip me with the jump rope and... Wait, who would trip you with a jump rope? The student that the teacher asked to watch over me to make sure that I wouldn't have a recess. Wait, you, a teacher? For not doing homework. A teacher told a kid to make sure you were miserable during recess. Yeah, oh I felt my. like the world was against me just yeah, that def for existing. I would, I would feel like that too, absolutely, yeah. that's tough. I think about it every single day, that's why I remember it like it was yesterday. And I thought, I thought there was nothing wrong with me and then when I switched schools and they still bullied me at the other school, I was like, yeah. there's something wrong with me now, what's wrong uh, with me? I was almost 14 years old when they found out. Yeah. They had been testing me for ADD and it kept coming out negative. Mm -hmm. And all I remember is, a kid was they kept pulling me out of classes to test me on stuff and I'm like why are they doing this to me yeah I just went into the office and he, s he asked social questions yeah like how do I like do I walk into a room and feel like everybody's staring at me or yeah yeah he he just watched my behavior a little bit when I was talking and mm -hmm. after an hour she turned to my mom and said well mom she has autism and I was like <laughs> oh and then she started bawling her eyes out was she happy or sad she was heartbroken because she felt like she treated me wrong all these years. Oh. And my dad too, my dad was crying. Oh, so they, Yeah. how did they treat you? Did they treat you like you had? I don't know, I thought they were pretty nice with me. I don't know why they were crying. <laughs> yeah. I personally wasn't cognitive about it until like I was much, much later into um, my life, probably like around 14 or 15, when oh, I was yeah. able to actually understand that I'm autistic or mm. I have autism. But in terms of like parental and family, I didn't speak till I was four. I went to doctors and all that kind of mm. stuff, and mm -hmm. they told them that I was diagnosed with autism. What was that like when you found out? When I found out, I couldn't comprehend it. I just didn't know what it meant. I didn't yeah. know what that means because like, it's not like I know what it means to be normal or anything. You're like, like, you're like what do you mean I have something? I'm just yeah. mean, I've always yeah, been like I, this. I, I, I don't see anything wrong with me at all. <laughs> like when I was growing up, I had an aide. Yeah. So I thought it was just everyone had an aide. Right, you didn't notice that other people did not have aides? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I, mm. I, I I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and cancel myself right now. <laughs> Can you explain what the sensory sensitivities uh, with autism are? For me, it's mostly sounds. Yeah. Like, not loud noises, but someone talking on the phone in the room next to me, or the dog barking up the street, or maybe my neighbor's hammering mm -hmm. a table or something. So, so it's less like physical sensory stuff, it's more just like yeah. a mental. Yeah. Like you're fixating on certain details? Yeah, exactly, that too. It sounds a lot like, and I'm not saying it's mm -hmm. the exact same thing, but it sounds a lot like when I'm having a panic attack. And I get those, seriously. You get those too? Yeah. And you focus on one thing and you feel mm -hmm. like it's just overwhelming? Yeah. yeah, I get that 24 hours a day. You feel like you're having a panic attack 24 hours a day? Uh, well, sometimes it's worse than that. Sometimes I actually faint and that's way too Whoa. frequent. You'll faint from, from the anxiety that you feel? Yeah. Do you go through life proud of your autism or do you kind of keep it more of a, a secret? I mean, I guess, well, for me personally, because I'm higher functioning, actually most people won't even identify, like recognize me that I'm on the spectrum. Like, I remember when I first was coming out on Facebook, mm -hmm. a lot of the comments I would get, they were saying, I never knew, but I'm so great to hear your story. And, like, yeah. Like inspiring to see like those hurdles that you went through it's mm. I would never have believed you because it's an invisible life disorder so it's really hard to tell unless you're actually like get to know the person at first I was ashamed about it I try to keep it hidden I even try to convince myself that I wasn't autistic but now uh, but now I'm a self-advocate for it and yeah I'm trying to help other people that have it do you ever feel like people underestimate what you're capable of because you're on the spectrum yeah <laughs> yeah they underestimate intelligence and capability and even your ability to play sports and drive but oh really i feel like i'm a good athlete in some ways so people will say like wow you can drive you're autistic i didn't know you could yeah, drive like, why do you have your license do you have autism it's like i'm not blind <laughs> <laughs> how do you think people without autism should interact with people who are on the spectrum treat us normally mm -hmm. <laughs> i keep using normal I'm sorry. <laughs> treat us like 
Like you would anyone else? Yeah, pretty much. Like, yeah. treat us like how you would treat anyone else. Um, be aware that the fact that we do have a mental disability, yeah. um, that we do have autism, mm -hmm. but don't be changing the way you speak, the way yeah. you act. Honestly speaking, you're one of the m more personal, casual people when it comes to talking to me, when it comes oh. to it. And that's good. Because oh, really? even though you're addressing the fact that I have autism, yeah. you're not like changing anything. You're not changing the way you act. I've seen other videos with you in it and you're the same person. The way you talk to other people versus me. Do you find that some people will just automatically change the way they talk with you? That some people, yeah. I'm fine with really bubbly people because yeah. I feel welcomed. Of course. Even though I seem unapproachable. No, you're not unapproachable. I got to hear that. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't find that at least. Yay. The only difference that I see is there's less eye contact, but that doesn't, oh, okay. that doesn't bother me. Especially because okay. I understand what it is that, you know, the way that you perceive the world is a little bit different. Yeah. What are your thoughts regarding the idea that some people have that autism is caused by vaccination? I, I hate it. Yeah? <laughs> I, I hate it. Like, I, I don't like using that word because I've been taught by my mother not to say the word hate, but I, you know, like, I, <laughs> yeah, I hate I hate That's it. the one thing yeah, you hate yeah. life? It's, it's based on a study that has no factual evidence to it and the, and a lot of pe the doctors retracted their claims yeah and on top of that first of all even if it did cause autism why is having autism worse than having like polio <laughs> <laughs> that's true <laughs> people are like i'd rather my kid be dying of a disease yeah i mean i may be autistic but at least i'm not dying <laughs> Cynthia Wagner wants to know what you think society could be doing to better serve people with autism. It's okay if you can't understand it. I'm not expecting you to understand 100% of everything that goes down with mm -hmm, autism. Mm -hmm. But at least have an open mind and understand that it, yes, it exists. Mm -hmm. It's not wrong. Mm -hmm. I have it. Other people have it too. So just be mindful that it exists. What's something you wish you could say to everyone who doesn't understand autism and maybe doesn't want to take the time to understand autistic people. Autism is not an excuse to misbehave. It's not a learning disability. It's not social anxiety. It's just, it's simply a different way of thinking and a different way of experiencing the world. I actually have a parting gift for you. Aww. Best interviewer shirt for you. Aww. You can get that at padildoshop.com, but for you, that is free. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to Anthony Padilla, please. Like. Like, seriously, please. Like, yeah, he, please. He brought a bunch of people to talk about autism. Like, 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 I don't see that on normal YouTube now. Aw, thanks, man. All right, you got five seconds to shout out or promote anything you want directly in the camera. Go. You can find me on Facebook or Instagram at Aniela Fields. I'm very boring. It's just my regular name. I'm in a nonprofit documentary, and you can check out the website at autismgoestocollege.org. My name is Robot Richie on everywhere. Robot Richie, one word on YouTube and Instagram. Thank you so much, Jasmine. Thank I you. feel like I understand the wondrous world of autism just a little bit more. Thank you. After spending the day with these autistic people, I've come to realize just how much we could learn from the way they perceive the world. Shouldn't we be doing more to spread awareness and education on disorders like autism so we can understand and appreciate those who are different from the perceived norm in our society? See you later, bye guys. Press the like. Ooh, gee. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> sorry, that, sorry, that. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Is that Siri? No, it's Bixby. It's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> that comes on like out of nowhere sometimes. It even happens when I'm at work. And it's These like, are what we really have to be afraid of for taking over the world. We're in trouble. Uh, they're already taking over the world. <laughs>